Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I will be demonstrating how to use the text area component in Flash. So to get started we're going to create an Action Script 3 document. Then I'm going to go to Window, Components, and I'm going to drag out a text area component and a button component. I'm going to set the button component at the bottom and then I'm going to close up this window. Now for the text area component I'm going to grab the transform tool. I'm going to move the registration point to the corner. Then I'm going to make this about half the size of our stage. So now that I've done that, I'm going to hold Alt and I'm going to drag over a duplicate of that. And then I'm going to select both of them. And I'm just going to try and position them so that they're equal distance from the side of the stage. So I'm just going to bump that over. And now that I have that done, I'm just going to move them down a little bit. And I'm going to put the button towards the middle. Then I'm going to grab my text tool and we're going to create two text fields at the top. And the first one's going to be editable. And the second one is going to say non-editable. All right, now that we've done that, I'm just going to select both of those, go to Window, Align, bump them up to the top to make sure they're at the same height. Then I'm just going to hold Shift and move them down. And then I can move each one individually over to the edge of the text area. OK, so now that I've done that, um, it's time to start giving these some instance names. So for this first text area, I'm going to go to Properties. I'm just going to call it TA one and then for the second one I'm going to call it TA2 and then for this button down here I'm just going to call it submit and just to get, give you guys a little bit of a heads up of what's going to be going on um, in this one that's editable obviously it's going to be um, one where you can edit the text that's within it and for the non-editable one it's going to display text and you're not going to be able to edit it and when you click this button down here it's going to take the text from the editable one and throw it over into the non-editable one and if there are any HTML uh, attributes within this editable one it will uh, convert them into this one. So to get started we're going to create or we're going to open up the uh, action uh, actions panel here and then if on the first line the first thing we need to do is set each of these to be editable or non-editable. So I'm going to say TA1 and then dot editable space equals space and then we're going to say true and semicolon. And then for TA2 we're going to say uh, not editable. So we're going to say TA2 dot editable equals false. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is give that button a label. So we're going to say submit dot label space, space equals space. A couple of quotes and a semicolon. Inside the quotes we're going to say submit. Alright, now that we've done that, we need to set the default text for our editable text box over here, or text area. So I'm going to say ta1.text, space equals space, a couple of quotes and a semicolon, and then inside the quotes we're going to say, let's put please edit this text, and click the submit button to display the outcome in the non-editable box. Alright, there you go. So now if we do control test movie, you'll see we have our default text in the editable box. We have our submit button. It has the correct label now. And you see we cannot select anything in here. Well, there's really not anything there, but um, we can select and change things within this box. We can delete things. We can add things. Um, so now we need to basically set it to when we click this button, it's going to put this text over here. So we're going to go to the next line, hit enter a couple times. Then we're going to write an event listener. So we're going to say submit, which is the um, instance name of our button, dot add event listener. Open parenthesis, it's a mouse event, dot click, in all caps, comma, and then I'm just going to call it change text. Close parenthesis, semicolon, semicolon. And now we need to write that function. So I'm going to say function, change text, space, parenthesis. And then it's an event, colon, mouse, event. Close parenthesis, colon, void, open curly bracket, enter a couple times, close curly bracket, up arrow key. And then basically we need to say TA2. 
and then I'm going to say instead of dot text, we're going to say dot HTML text. So HTML and then capital T and then text. Um, space equals space, and then we're going to set it equal to TA1. So TA1 dot text, and then a semicolon. So it's basically going to say when this button is clicked, you're going to set TA2, which is this text area 2, equal to TA1, but you're going to change everything that's HTML to HTML. So we're just going to do control test movie and everything should be working okay. So we're just going to test the submit button. So when we click that, you'll see that it takes the text and puts it over here and that I can't change it if I try and hit delete or backspace on my keyboard. It's not letting me delete that so that's good. Um, this is just for viewing purposes rather than actually editing things and submitting them. So we're going to um, just test this out. Let's say, um, hello world, how are you? All right, submit. You can see that it updated this over here. All right, so now let's try some HTML. So we're gonna say, let's try some HTML. Okay, and then on a couple lines down, I'm gonna say, let's do some bold. So we're gonna do um, a B in brackets and then a slash B in brackets. And then we're gonna say, um, this is bold text. All right, submit. Let's try some HTML. Let's delete that. Um, let's try some HTML. This is bold text, and you can see that it changed it to bold. And you can also do like links and stuff in here. So if you want to do ahref equals a couple of quotes, close uh, bracket, open bracket, slash a, close bracket. And then if you wanted to put um, inside the quotes, let's put my website, http colon slash slash www dot diversitygraphics.com and then you just put like check out my website and then um, I'm just going to click submit and you'll see that it changes to where you can actually click it it changes to a little hand symbol but it's not underlined because uh, I don't know flash just doesn't seem to do it like that so we're going to put an underline um, HTML for that so we're just going to put the U in brackets and then the slash U and you can see that it underlines it now so you kind of get a visual representation that you should you should be clicking that so if I click that then it's going to bring up well, you should see it brings up my website if you click on that um, so basically any HTML uh, objects work in here um, it'll take it and it'll convert it if you use the um, HTML text instead of the regular text so um, this is really good if you wanted to have users if you were making like a content management or you were using a database maybe um, if you wanted to use this as a form field you could take this text that people are typing in and you could submit it so that you can send emails um, for like contact form for other things um, it's pretty much a versatile uh, component, so I hope you guys learned something about the text area component, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll have another component tutorial for you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.